Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at TheraphyHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is um, a video of me just talking about angels and such. I felt guided to discuss angels um, briefly because I've been feeling their energies so much at the beginning of this year. It started actually, actually, I think actually before um, the Christmas holidays. For about three days, I had this feeling because actually, this will be a good sort of segue topic as well to talk about um, how I view myself as a reader because people tend to always say, um, readers are psychic and sometimes people have referred to me as being like psychic and stuff like that and I personally don't really go by the word psychic I don't know why for me it just it doesn't really resonate with me there's certain words just I'm that, I'm that kind of person there's certain words that don't resonate with me and to me it's not like it's a bad word but it's just not what I view myself as being I think the word that I like the most or I use the most is intuitive and I also do view myself as an empath but even with em empath I don't like to use that word a lot only because um, I always feel that with certain words especially certain labels people have a certain expectation and I feel like I don't ever want to communicate to anybody else that I have any kind of special or exceptional ability that they don't possess within themselves. I feel like I use myself as a channel and I use myself as bringing forth a message. Anyone can bring forward forth a message. Like you don't have to be anyone in particular to do that. You don't have to be anyone in particular to channel either. Like you, it, it's just if you leave yourself open to it you can do it so to me I don't feel like what I'm doing is like so exceptional to where I have to label it and call it something some people decide to I personally I don't and I also don't do that as well because I always feel like the process when I'm doing a really a reading for anyone I want to, the other person to feel as empowered as they possibly can feel in the process of the reading. Therefore, I don't want to be seen as the, sort of this all-knowing uh, messenger. Like what I'm saying is just, you know, is, is set in stone. That's it. That's not the case. I want it to always feel like there is a participation in the reading. There is a, you know, both people me and the Quran are coming together to to bring a message forward for this individual so I always feel that that is important for me to, for it to feel like we're both making the effort here and it's not just sort of me making the effort and it seems like I'm supposed to be the one to tell you exactly what to do uh, I just I feel for me the way I read I just like it to feel like it's more there's more participation on both sides. So, um, yeah, there's that as well. But because I am very sensitive to energies, another thing that I feel or like that can happen a lot if you are, if you open up yourself to being sensitive, because again, I think that is something, this is how I look at it. Some people, are just like that some people are just born that way to where they receive messages they, they are sensitive to energies and all that other stuff some people block it out because they choose not to be so it's not to say that they don't have those gifts or you can't possess them it's that they're just not in tune with them or they don't use them on a regular basis to where they it improves because that's the thing about being a reader is that you will find that yeah you you're intuitive but you will find the more that you use it the older you become usually the better you get at it and the more fine-tuned it becomes and then you become sensitive to even more energies because you're using it all the time on a regular basis so it's like you know with doing anything with practice you you you, you become perfect so 
the more you use it, the better you become. So what I've found is, is it, spirit beings are always around, and there's you can always feel their presence again if you've tuned into their presence. And the, these spirits can be ones that are pleasant <laughs> and ones that are kind of unpleasant. And um, and I find that on a regular basis, I feel them. I can feel whether they're pleasant or whether they're unpleasant. And the thing is, is that I don't choose really so much to want to feel it. It just sort of, it comes about. But since about like December time, getting closer to Christmas, there was about three days, like three days nonstop, where I felt this presence around me. And it was such a lovely and pure, like their intention from whatever being it was, was very pure. And really, like they were very protective. That's why I kind of, I was kind of tuning into it and trying to feel who it was or what, what being it was. And the only thing I could really get back was that I believe it was Archangel Michael. Or an a or a being that has a very similar presence to that, like where it's very protective and really loving, but it's not a it's like an unconditional sense of love or feeling of love. So there is nothing there's nothing about it that is kind of shallow or nothing about it that was not sincere. It was a very just pure form of protection and of love and I felt very guarded by this presence it's almost like they had me wrapped up for like three days like that's literally what I felt like it felt like a big hug like for all that time and it did there was nothing about it that was uncomfortable or intense or overwhelming it was just really like being wrapped up in a blanket <laughs> kind of feeling and it was just really lovely and um it just and that's when I actually made that video uh which I believe was yeah it was last year where I was talking about an angelic presence being around and I was talking more about angels around that time because I just got, kind of got this feeling and I just was feeling that it wasn't just me that was experiencing this but that other people were feeling it too even if they weren't feeling it in the same way but there was just something communicated to me that was making me feel like they were just more around than usual and I still have this feeling even up like throughout this month I feel like this presence is still gonna be there there is something that I'm sensing that I'm feeling like like you know usually people say like around Halloween time like the veil is thin where spirits can come through but I almost feel like the veil is thin but it's not thin for just random spirits it's thin for like higher vibrational spirits like spirits that are really loving and caring and I feel like they're coming around because they are really feeling the dense energy that is currently like on the planet right now because we're having so much stuff going on like especially last year I feel like the energy last year was very dense like I think a lot of people were going through a lot of really tough experiences and even now you're a lot of people are still going through these really hard experiences and because of it I think the vibration is just becoming really low and it's almost like they're they're coming through to kind of lift the vibration and to kind of almost to make us feel like they're there and we're protected and that we're safe because I think that there is so much I think like the fair base energy is just running rampant because remember like last year we had a lot of that terrorist stuff coming up again we had a lot of that um a lot of people passed away so you got a lot of people that's in grief and stuff there was like so many things people that I was speaking to like there was so much stuff coming through and then also there was a lot of karmic stuff that's been showing up for a lot of people as well and I'm hearing from so many people that are saying like oh, you know, I haven't had a job for a really long time. I haven't had a partner for a really long time. Like, why are these things kind of happening to me? And then when I would lay down the cards, like a lot of karmic messages were coming through more than usual. 
and to be honest i want to kind of address that in another video talking about karmic um things that are happening and how to identify when it's karma and um, that you're going through or whether it's just like an ordinary experience because this those are two very different things and i would actually like to make a video like discussing the difference between the two um because again i've been doing quite a few readings where it's showing up for people and i kind of get concerned whether people kind of understand when i use certain terminology because I tend to use certain words in different ways than maybe what other um, readers and stuff, how they use them. Like I told you guys, I use the word soulmate in a different way to what some other people use it. And I use the words karma in a different way than what some other people use them as well. So I would like to make a video also discussing that so that people that also get readings from me kind of understand when I use those words. I do explain it in the reading as well because I always try to make it very clear because I don't want any kind of misunderstandings. But then at the same time, I think it's good to make them in, a, in videos because a lot of you guys actually order readings from my videos and I think if you can kind of understand me and my terminology and the way that I word things then it kind of helps with the readings as well because then you, you kind of understand them better because you kind of understand the way I communicate a bit better so yeah I'll be doing that too but um that's why I felt so guided to bring out these cards because since I've been feeling all this angelic presence it's really drawn me back to these cards and these cards I was really interested in them years ago this was actually I believe one of my first oracle decks that I ever purchased and the thing that I loved in terms of the, this uh deck was that at that time I was really into um uh like the um I, I don't know why the word UFO is coming up for me. It's not UFOs, but I was kind of into sort of like extraterrestrial beings. That's what I was trying to say. And that's the time when I was using Moldavite. And uh, I was really into like the whole star seed thing. And, um, and this deck, even though it's connected to angels, because it was like associated with Atlantis, it kind of made me interested in getting it and i really love the way that this deck um or the creator of the deck who is um richard crooks um i like the way he kind of um explains about angelic beings like his interpretation because he is different to like the dorian virtue kind of angel um interpretation where it's almost like dorian virtue does like she views angels in more like the christian sense and you know and her depiction of angels in her decks are just like human beings with wings whereas his in interpretation of angels are more energies um, which I like because to me that's what angels are. They they are um they're an energy. They don't have to have a human form, uh really, like because they're they're spiritual beings. And so I feel like um to me that is the way I view them. And I feel like especially if you let yourself to be a bit more open in terms of um connecting with their with different like presence of uh spirits and things then you get to feel them in a way that is really personal especially when ones come around you that are really loving and trying to feed you with sort of loving vibes and loving energies which i just love so much and i don't know why but i just suddenly feel guided to pick another card from this deck so let's go with that um so let's actually ask the deck <laughs> what what angel spirits are around us right now or what angel spirits should we kind of be working with or tapping into their vibe or their energies so that would be an interesting thing to see what cards come up for that the card that showed up is oh haniel with willpower um haniel is an interesting one i think i feel like i have read up about this one i think that's the one that is like i don't know let me see um i'm gonna look in the book for this one because i'm more familiar with like michael Raphael and um gabriel haniel wisdom it says this hold on not wisdom willpower okay willpower 
It says, just like the great wells of the ocean's deep, swimming in Mother Earth's tears, you are asked to bring willpower to your life in order to achieve the possibility of glory. The ancient souls of this beautiful sea creature brings them to the flow of the universe. This reminds us that all is well in the divine matrix. And so take heart from this example. If your will is not currently flowing for you, ask Haniel for loving assistance and you will feel the ruby ray force flooding through you, giving you such strength of purpose and healing that you will only that you will once again feel clear to emit your magnificence in the world. Chant um three times for greater clarity and that's another thing that's great about this deck is it gives you a chance to do for like each um each card that comes up um so that you can connect more deeply with that uh, angel being as well and isn't that so crazy that it talked about um loving assistance and stuff like that and i was telling you about the warmth that i felt and it was really loving and like unconditional you never know maybe it was actually Hane Haniel <laughs> that was responsible possibly um but like i and, and the fact that it's willpower as well that really ties into the message that i was just saying as well that you know willpower means that we really have to like we're going through so much stuff like loads and loads of stuff and i get it i get that everyone has their like inner turmoil and outer turmoil that's kind of going on but willpower is like saying that it's, it's like the angels want to give us the energy to be able to keep going, to be able to push us forward and move us, you know. And so it's like that energy is really necessary right now because we're just going through a lot of adversity. And so I feel like this is just a really beautiful message to kind of end this video on, which was meant to be a short video, but it's kind of turning long. <laughs> so many blessings to you. I'll see you guys. Bye.